اتحادیه سراسری دانشجویان اروپا چتری است از 49 انجمن ملی دانشجویی از 38 کشور اروپایی که 11 میلیون دانشجوی اروپا را نمایندگی می کند. سخنگوی این اتحادیه و عضو کمیته اجرایی این اتحادیه آقای برت فاندن کندلار به ما پیوستند تا حمایتشون رو اعلام بکنم. Our next speaker is Bert van der Kendeler, representative and member of the executive committee of the European Students' Union, which is an umbrella organization of 49 national unions of students from 38 countries, and through its member, it represents over 11 million students in Europe. These 11 million students have brought us, the Iranian students, a message, a message of support. Ladies and gentlemen, Bert van der Kendeler. Thank you. Uh, dear fellow students, first of all, and dear friends of the Iranian student movement, the European Students' Union has been nothing less than shocked after hearing the newest forms and the newest facts of the repression of the Iranian student movements. The repression of any kind of student self-government and leadership they could use to stand up for their student rights. The European Students' Union, which is abbreviated as ESU, is an umbrella organization with 48 member unions uh, from 39 different countries all over Europe, representing over 11 million students in higher education. ESU is representing these 11 million students' voices in the Bologna Process follow-up group as a dialogue partner of the European Commission and the European Union, but also of UNESCO and the OECD. But to be honest, a modest estimation tells me that not even half of the students ESU is representing is aware of the dangers and the oppressions their Iranian colleagues have to fear each day in their struggle for better or even for any education in their country. From those who know about the situation, only very few have access to the information on what's happening in Tehran and around. Very few have a real view on the situation. As we heard, over 90 students, including top student leaders, have been arrested over the past three weeks, and many are held incommunicado, probably in solitary confinement and likely under torture, torture and ill-treatment, facing charges of threatening national security. These students are mainly concerned about enjoying their fundamental rights and academic freedom, as we are in the European Students' Union as well. What is more, Iranian universities acting as an arms of state intelligence forces have expelled or suspended scores of students for their peaceful student activism. I consider myself very lucky and am very honored to be amongst those very few students in Europe that have had an opportunity to receive direct information on the situation. And I am thus motivated enough to try to help ignite the struggle for their rights in Europe. However, I and with me the European Students' Union will not pretend to have a clear view on the Iranian reality myself. ESU receives regular updates from student representatives that have fled to Europe or that have been active in a far past or that are here today. Through a lot of sideways, we get in touch with the Iranian students on campus. And for example, for our joint obesu esu recent three-day International Students' Day commemoration in Brussels, in which we also had the Commissioner for Higher Education and the Vice President of the European Parliament attending, we were, have been able to show a video message from the same uh, Ms. Baharat uh, right from Iran. For our 18th European Students' Convention in Stockholm in Sweden, mid-October this year, we have received a report on the situation from the Nationwide Iranian Students' Union informing about the killings after the post-election demonstrations in June, and from then on, the arrests of almost all of the members of their office for uh, fostering unity. In the end of their message, the language becomes quite cold and very horrifying, but still optimistic. I will quote now. Dear friends, whatever was explained was merely a brief list of the ongoing atrocities in the universities of Iran. We still do not, now, do not know how many of our friends have been killed, and we still do not know how many are detained in the prisons of the country. Suppression to its extreme still happens in the universities. However, we students and academics, like all the people of Iran, emphasize our rights for freedom of speech, freedom of assembly, and forming unions and academic and research freedoms. Meanwhile, we ask for the support of our colleagues across the world. Your support will strengthen us greatly in pursuit of our goals. End of the quote. The European Students' Union can only guess how this agony these students have to call reality can feel like and can only express its deepest, deepest empathy with what they have to face. 
The student representatives in Europe will try everything within their power to help their colleagues in Iran, but the problem is that everything within their power will never be enough. The information we receive stays rather rare, and one of the biggest challenges the Iranian oppression of students and this movement we are part of today faces is to move the European students for their cause. There is a lack of interest, maybe because there is a lack of an eye-opener from Iran. Apathy from the side of students on the grassroots level of our student movement, lack of information and lack of ownership from the side of student representatives on and the local level and the national level. It is our ambition, and I ask you today to share with me that ambition, to weather this apathy, to start disseminating more information on the violation of the human rights in Iran and the European Students' Union, with the adoption of its uh, European Students' Rights Charter, uh, considers these student rights also as a crucial aspect. Student rights to education are deprived because students engage in student representation or activism. Students' access to education is banned because they exercise simply their right of free speech and their right of free assembly. Students can no longer be students just because they speak out. The 7th of December is National Student Day in Iran, and when students are expected to demonstrate for their fundamental rights, and when, regrettably, they will have to face severe uh, repression. The European Students' Union, and with this 11 million students, ask the responsible authorities from as well UNESCO, as OECD, as the European Commission to react against the continuing deprivation of students' rights and democratic youth movement in Iran. It is easy to be silent. It is necessary to speak out loud this time. Those students in Iran are still hopeful, and they keep on going, with or without our support. But let us not be responsible for the prolongation of their fight. Think for yourself if you have done enough and if you have done whatever you were able to do. We have done the same and we have concluded that ESU can do much more. Attending today and delivering this message is only a token of our concern and a proof of our commitment to the Iranian cause. It is not only this, but it has to be the start of more work from ESU's side, more support letters, more media attention. Although we can't dedicate any financial resources, we can dedicate human resources. Time of student representatives to study the situation and inform our members in 39 different countries about this, that situation, convincing them to react and stand up as well. When democracy, fundamental rights of free speech and free assembly or the students' rights to higher education are attacked, we are still too silent. Dear fellow students, we will speak up and we will not give up until we overcome. Thank you very much.